Hello teachers, this is Miss Kim and I'm here to help and guide you how to make a simple quiz in a quizzes platform. It is an online platform for creating and delivering interactive quizzes and assessments. It is a popular tool used by teachers, trainers, and educators to engage students and assess their knowledge in a fun and engaging way. Starting quizzes is a simple process that can be done in just a few steps. Are you guys ready? Let's get it on! First, sign in to your Google account in Search Quizzes. Click to load and it will direct you to the profile that looks like this one. Or you can do this by visiting the Quizzes website directly. There you go. As you can see, there's login and sign up. To get started, you'll need to sign in or create an account by clicking on the sign up button in the top right corner. You may sign up with Google, with Facebook, email, or via phone number. Since I already have an existing account, I log in using my registered email, and this is what it looks like once you get to the website. You may get yourself familiarized with its components by clicking the options on the left side. Let's start with the Explore option. It allows users to browse and search for quizzes that have been created by other users on the platform. This feature is useful for finding quizzes on specific topics or subjects that you may not have the time or resources to create on your own. It allows users to filter quizzes by subject, grade level, and language, making it easy to find quizzes that are relevant to your needs. Users can also view popular quizzes, as you can see, or recently added quizzes, as well as browse quizzes by user or keyword search. When you find a quiz you want to use, you can preview the questions and answers and then clone the quiz to make a copy that you can edit and customize to meet your specific needs. This features saves time and effort as you can use existing quizzes as a starting point and then modify them to match your teaching goals. There you can see the top quizzes, the quizzes that are available, and of course, also the lessons. The Explore option in Quizzes is an important tool that allows us teachers or the users to discover and use quizzes that have already been created by other users on the platform and it helps us saving time and effort in the process. Let us proceed to the Quiz Library option. This option contains thousands of pre-made quizzes that cover a wide range of subjects and topics. You can browse the library to find quizzes that match your interests or needs. You can also see here your old made quizzes and then it allows you to browse and use pre-made quizzes created by other quizzes users. It essentially provides access to a database of quizzes that have already been created and shared by other educators or students. Also, in this option, you can search for quizzes by keyword, subject, or topic. You can also filter the results by grade level and language. Once you find a quiz that you want to use, you can preview it to see its content and structure. Actually, it can save you time and effort in creating your own quizzes from scratch. You can use it as a resource to find new ideas and inspiration for your own quizzes. Additionally, it allows you to benefit from the collective knowledge and expertise of other quizzes users. Moving on, we have Report option, which can help us to assess students' understanding about the test. It provides users with detailed reports on quiz performance which can help users identify areas for improvement and track progress over time. Some of the information included in quizzes reports includes overall quiz performance of the students, quizzes reports provide an overview 
of quiz performance including the number of students who took the quiz, the average score, and the percentage of correct answers. We also have the question level data, the student level data. In the question level data, it reports provide the data on individual questions, including the percentage of students who answered each question. While on student level data, these reports provide detailed information on individual student performance and progress, including the student score, the number of correct answers, and the amount of time taken to complete the quiz. It can also provide data on class level performance, including the average score. For My School option, it allows you to create private group for your school where you can invite students and other teachers to join. Once you create a school group, you can share quizzes with members of the group, track their progress, and view their results. It is useful for teachers who want to use quizzes as a tool for collaborative learning within their school community. And for the classes option, it allows you to organize your students into a separate group or classes. Moreover, you can explore other options like settings, the memes, collections, profile. You can modify your profile and add more information about it. Let's get going in creating a quiz. Just click the create option and then choose quiz. Wait to load. And then, it will direct you to this question. Choose between using Automatic Builder or Creating from Scratch. Since we're gonna make our own, we're gonna choose Creating from Scratch. So, Quizzes offers different types of questions. Like, multiple choice, matching types, true or false, open-ended questions, and many more as what you can see on the screen. By looking at the example on the right side, it will give you an idea how does it looks like. Since I'm only using free account, the question types are limited because the other types can be accessed if I am going to subscribe in their pro account. So let's begin with our quiz. So here, I'm going to use the multiple choice type of quiz. So once you click the multiple choice or the type of test you're going to make, it will direct you to the question field. So first, enter the question text in the questions field. So here, since my topic is math, I'm going to go with geometric figures questions. At this point, it is recommended that you should prepare your questions beforehand so that you will just copy and paste it here. As you can see on the left side of the question field, we have image, audio, and videos. Because you can actually add images, videos, and other multimedia to make your quiz more engaging. Let's say you would like to add an image. So just click image. So you may drag and drop. Or you may also paste link and search in the website. And if you wish to upload recorded video or recorded audio, then just click audio, then video. There you have it. So you may import or upload a video or audio. Then once you're done with the questions, enter the answer choices in the answers field. So you may add up to four answer choices or click plus if you want to add more choices. And after you're done with all the choices, don't forget to click on the checkbox next to the correct answers. If desired, you may add an explanation for the correct answer in the explanation field. As you can see in the choices box, there's an option if you want to delete it, make it as an image, or if you wish to paste formula or an equation. The choice is yours. And then, if your questions and choices were final, don't forget to set a time limit and click save. And there you go. You can see the preview of your first question. If you see a mistake or misspelled words, you can actually click edit if you want to edit your questions and choices. And then if you want to add more questions and the same type of questions, just click duplicate. And there you have it. You may just edit the questions once again and the choices. Just repeat the process. 
For each succeeding questions, don't forget to set the time limit and finally click the save option. Fast forward to the questions that we made. So I have here six questions and then since I found mistakes in numbering, so you may just click edit and try to modify the questions and the choices. Make sure that you set the time limit and click save and also add how many points for each question. Moreover, if you want to reshuffle the questions or rearrange the questions, just edit the numbering and don't forget to click save. And don't forget that in all the changes that you make in the test questions, you always have to click save. Afterwards, after you're done with all the changes, corrections, and editing in your quiz, it's now time to edit and enter a title and description for your quiz, as well as select the subject and grade level. You may also click and upload an image for your quiz to make it presentable. So in our case, our title is Basic Geometric Figures. And then here we could see that it's mathematics for grade 4 level. And then language is English. And then we're, we're going to add an image just to make it presentable and engaging or more engaging. Then we will just click again, save button. Afterwards, make a final check and thorough preview of the questions and the choices before you click on the publish button to make your quiz live and share it with others. That's it! You have successfully created a multiple choice quiz in quizzes. You can now share the quiz link with others or embed it on a website or LMS. After all, you can actually try to play this game on your own. Just wait it to load and there, click the start button to start or you may do it as a challenge for your friends. And then waiting time again to load because you know internet connection is sometimes slow and it needs strong internet connection there you have it one is started there you can see the questions and the choices choose the best answer from the choices then click the right choice box the process will repeat until you reach the last questions <music> Success! Now we're done with the trial, we may share it to our students through live quiz, homework, or paper mode. For live quiz, you may use for classic or student paste. So you may give them the link or the code of the quizzes, then make them join. 
and for the other option which is the instructor paste so every question is navigated by the teacher so we cannot proceed to the next question unless the timer is done or through the navigation of the teacher for the assigned homework option just get the link and give it to the students for them to answer at home or and for the no device needed you may use the paper mode option that's it i hope that you learned something from our demo today quizzes is a great tool for creating and delivering engaging quizzes and assessments that can help you assess your students knowledge and understanding of a subject and provide them with instant feedback to improve their learning. So if you wish to explore quizzes and use it as your tool for measuring the understanding of the students, feel free to use it. Whether you are a teacher, a trainer, or educator, quizzes can be a valuable addition to your teaching toolbox. Thank you.